Welcome to Code Pro, your source for helpful and effective programming tutorials. Today, we are going to be continuing the iOS tutorial series, and we will learn about IB Designable, specifically how to make our custom controls, such as custom UI views, IB Designable, which have IB Inspectable properties, which means that we can change the color, the size, the radius, various properties of UI elements inside of Interface Builder and see those changes occur without having to compile and run our app. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to build today. Now here's a look at what we're going to be building. Uh, so we have a view controller here and you'll notice in the view hierarchy that I have a custom view that I called login form and uh, subclassed it. And if you go to the attribute inspector you'll see here that login form itself has some of its own custom properties. Now these are properties that we specified to be IB inspectable or interface builder inspectable. Now the value of this is for properties such as, for example, form color, corner radius, the border color in the in corner radius, we can change all of these right here in interface builder and watch those changes actually occur without having to run the app. So this is super useful if you're working with a designer and your mocks are constantly changing and colors are constantly changing and this simplifies the life for the developer in the fact that we can quickly go in here and change properties without really changing any code necessarily um, and it just super simplifies the development process. And let me just show you a few more things in here. So we can change the corner radius, uh, we can make it rounder or more square, uh, we can change the border width to be larger or smaller, and we can even change the border color, and there's lots of other really cool things we can do. So let's go ahead and dive into the code and see how this is actually constructed. All right, so open up Xcode and create a new uh, single view iOS application. And let's start off by going into the main storyboard. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a similar kind of form uh, by first finding a UI view and dragging that onto our view controller. So let's go ahead and start off with just a vanilla UI view and we'll just go ahead and position that. Uh, I'm just gonna set some constraints on this so we can center it. I'm gonna go down into the uh, constraints down here. I'm gonna add uh, horizontal and vertical constraints and as well as width and height constraints just to get this thing in place. Uh, so, uh, let's, now you'll see here that that's a sub-view of our view controller's view. Uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is next to subclass this view. So go over into your file directory and let's go ahead and create a new uh, Swift file here. And uh, we're just going to call this uh, custom color, let's call it custom view just because it's going to contain lots of different customizations. And let's go ahead and set this up and uh, subclass this appropriately. So we'll need to import UI kit, which contains all of the UI view uh, APIs from Apple. And we'll just create our class, custom view, which derives from a UI view. And finally, let's go back into our main storyboard here and just associate uh, this view as a custom view. So go ahead and select the view that you added. And before doing that, I'm just gonna change this background color uh, so it's a little easier for us to see our view here. And then go over to the class inspector. And under class, we'll go ahead and type custom view. Now let's pop back over into our custom view class and actually mark it as IB designable and create the properties. So. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to actually decorate this class as at IB designable. Now this will let us go ahead and add inspectable properties that will show up in the attribute inspector inside of Interface Builder. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with some basic setup here. There's a method called prepare for interface builder which is called each time you make a change to a property in Interface Builder. So every time you make a change, let's say you change a color, this method is going to get called. And when this method gets called, it'll visually update the state for whatever property you may have just changed. 
So I'm going to do a few things here. I'm going to also override awake from nib. And I'm going to define one more function called uh, style view. And I'm going to handle all of the property changes and color assignments and whatnot in here. And I'm going to call that from our prepare for interface builder method as well as in awake from nib. So the next thing we need to do is actually uh, set our properties. So I'm going to start off with uh, the very first property being the background color. Uh, so I'm going to just change uh, or add an at IB inspectable uh, var, uh, we'll just call it uh, view color, or just call it view color UI color. And we'll just give this a starting value if we don't set anything of UI color dot white. <clears throat> uh, we're also going to add one for the border width. So we'll do at IB inspectable var view border width. Just give this of type CG float equals so uh, just a default value of zero. And uh, we'll also do a border color as well at IB inspectable var border color or we'll just view border color UI color. And we'll give this one a color of dot clear, UI color clear, so you can't see it unless you actually define it. Uh, so with just these three properties set, now you notice they're decorated with the add IB inspectable. Let's go back into our main storyboard. Let's go and select our custom view here. And you can see that there's a, it looks like Xcode's updating something. And what it's doing is it's adding those properties you just added to the class, which now in the attribute inspector will show up. So you can see view color, uh, border width, and view border color appear here. So let's go ahead and actually go ahead and hook those up so we can change them in Interface Builder and see the changes happen. All right, so let's pop over into our custom view and hook up these inspectable properties. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is hook up the background color change. So since we're inside of or subclassing a UI view, we can access the background color directly. So we can say background color. And we'll assign that to the view color, which is the property up here that's going to be changed in Interface Builder. And this is going to get called each time we make those changes. Uh, let's also change the uh, layer dot border width to match the view border width that we are going to assign in Interface Builder. And finally, the layer dot border color uh, equal to the view border color and uh, dot CG color because that's a CG color type. And now let's go back into the main storyboard and make some modifications to these properties and observe the changes. So you'll s we go back to the attribute inspector here and you'll go starting with our background color. Let's just change that to something other than white. And you can see that it actually changes in Interface Builder. So let's change the um, go border width and we'll give a border color here. So now we've changed that color from clear to red. You can see that we're changing the width. So it's kind of neat. So uh, what about the corner radius? Uh, we can do that too. So let's go back into the custom view and we'll create a, a new uh, IB inspectable property here. We'll just call this uh, view corner radius. We'll give that a value of zero to start. And anytime we make a change to it, uh, layer dot corner radius equals the view corner radius that we changed. And now let's go back into uh, main storyboard here and take a look at that. So we'll have a fourth property added uh, when this is, there we go. So there's no value there, but See, now we can start changing this, and you can see that our corners are getting round right here. Then we can go back and square that back out. And that wraps up our tutorial covering IB designables. And as you can see, uh, this is a super helpful concept for changing uh, things quickly. If design changes, if UX changes, you can just go in there and change a couple attributes, and you'll be on your way. Um, so.
As always, you will find the completed code available for free on GitHub. The link is down in the description below. And uh, make sure to follow Code Pro on social media. You'll find links for uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus down below in the description. Make sure to keep up to date with all the news for the latest tutorials. And if you like that video, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe for more future tutorials. Thank you so much for stopping by.